Okay, a 10 gram bullet has a horizontal velocity of 198 meters per second. It strikes and becomes embedded in a 3 kilogram block of wood, which rests on a smooth, frictionless tabletop. What is the velocity of the block and bullet after the impact? Okay, so it's obviously going to just benefit fit us to just draw a more or less a sketch of what's happening here. So there we have our block of wood, which we said was 3 kilograms, our bullet that is on its way to be embedded in to that block in wood, of wood, and that is 198 um, meters per second okay, that it's traveling at, and the velocity is, okay, uh, sorry, the, the mass of that thing is 10 grams. Okay, now again, we can't use grams, we need kilograms, so we divide with a thousand to get 0 0.01 kilograms. Okay. Now, with that in mind, what is the velocity of our um, block of wood? It says, which rests, so resting means velocity of the block is equal to 0 meters per second. Okay, now afterwards, afterwards we've got these two things stuck together okay it's a frictionless tabletop which means that now this stuck together portion okay gets embedded in here and now it's traveling at some some sort of velocity okay and we don't know what this velocity is but we're going to call this the velocity of if this is a and that is B, then obviously here we have a velocity of AB. They get stuck together now, and we have a mass of AB as well. Okay, the mass of AB is simply the mass of A, okay, that 0 0.01 kilograms, plus the mass of B, that's 3 kilograms, so it's 3,01. And the question is, what is the velocity of the block and bullet? Okay, that's our block and bullet. So what formula are we about to use for this whole system? Well, let's see the momentum before, let's call it um, initial momentum, must be equal to final momentum. Okay, and what do we know about initial momentum? Well, initially we had two separate things. We have the mass of object A multiplied by the velocity of object A, uh, sorry, object A, plus the mass of object B times the velocity of object B is equal to now afterwards the momentum afterwards we only have one thing okay so this is that hit and um, stick collision that we were talking about earlier so this is the mass of AB times the velocity of AB okay so just let's go substitute what we know we know that the mass of A Okay, we're talking about the bullet is A is 0, 0,01 times the velocity is um, 198 plus the mass of B was 3 kilograms but its velocity was 0 so that's just going to cancel. Afterwards the mass of AB is that 3 plus 0, 0,01 okay, and we got 3,01 kilograms times the velocity of AB and that's what we're trying to calculate. Okay, and all we need to do now is to solve for that variable. And it's quite simple because all we see on that side we have to divide with this 3,01 that we get as a coefficient. So dividing with 3,01 on both sides, what do we get? Well, we get that the velocity of AB is therefore equal to 0 0.01 times 9, uh, sorry, 1. 198 plus 3 times 0 you can obviously leave that out so in total in the numerator we get 1.098 uh, divided by 3.01 3.01 and what do we get 0, 0.657 two decimal places 0, 0.66 meters per second so we get 0, 0.66 meters per second. Let's go fill that out. Okay, so hopefully you agree with me that this is the formula that we end up using. It's where we have the mass of two systems, okay, equal 
um, to the mass of or two units actually equal to the mass of one unit which where we have a single um, velocity um, in the end okay so doing our stock taking process we know the mass of our first object is 0 0.01 uh, the velocity of that first object is um, 198 the mass of the second object is 3 kilograms and its initial velocity was 0 okay and then what we want is the velocity of um, the unit after it got stuck the future velocity of that and that's where we got this equation from so that's the equation we're doing in our substitution step and just remember we aren't writing uh, subscripts so we're going to leave that a b out so we have 0 0.01 times 198 plus 3 times 0 is equal to 3.01 or you could have put it like this 3 plus 0 0.1 just in brackets times velocity lowercase letter it's preview okay that looks correct and then what did we get well we got our answer was that velocity is equal to 0 0.66 meters per second okay preview perfect okay but there's one thing I forgot and I always forget so please don't make the same mistake as me and that's the direction okay in what direction was this thing going okay so since we don't know the direction um, whether it was up or down left or right uh, we drew our own sketch all we need to do is write in the original direction of motion okay so originally only the bullet was moving so in the original direction of motion would mean the direction that the bullet was originally traveling in okay and um, that means in the direction the bullet was fired okay that looks correct in the direction the bullet was fired is the option they gave us okay you could have written something similar to that and it would have been correct cool see you in the next video